And welcome to your gold market update and charts of the day for the 10th of April 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Gold Markets, here to lead you around what's happening in a slightly quieter day this Monday morning. Of course, US equity markets were open on Thursday, uh, closed mildly higher. The uh, US market is open tonight whilst other major equity markets are closed. We are obviously seeing some of the Asian markets open. The Nikkei is open and trading to the upside. Futures, commodity and FX are all open for business. US earnings season on Wednesday's US CPI likely to dictate sentiment not only this week but going forward. US futures are mixed in early trading after Friday's farm payrolls came in slightly better than expected. Asian markets are generally higher and the VIX dropped on that jobs data and has continued its down move. It's at monthly lows, breaching that 20 support we referenced last week. Your dollar index bounced off two months lows, honoring 101 support. It is still in a downwards trend channel low. So it'll be interesting to see whether it stops here or whether that general feeling continues. Gold did pull back on that USD strength over the last couple of days. Trading, it's retesting 2000 in a choppy session so far in Asia. Copper had a, a strong end of the week after a weaker start and reversed, bouncing off 200 EMA in its round. $4.00 at this stage and all has paused near the top of the range after last monday's opec plus news it hasn't really moved much since then bitcoin is trading towards the top of its short-term range around twenty nine thousand, and it's a quiet day on the data front today before ramping up throughout the rest of the week there is an imf meeting scheduled and they will report their thoughts and feelings to the markets in a couple of days time and u.s wholesale inventories are also due but not a massive market mover a couple of the fed guys talking this week that is likely to impact markets a little before that cpi number comes out on wednesday but chinese cpi and euro retail sales the highlights tomorrow just a look around the charts very quickly a couple of quarter around this morning we're seeing some generalized yen weakness and if you look at the us yen short term chart you can see there that this is the start of asian training on a little dip down and then strength uh, and we're seeing this across all yen crosses key level on this is probably around that 132.87 level 133 is more significant if you put it on a four hourly chart you can see there that this level around 133 is really important and a potential move up to 133.80 is on the cards if we breach that. So that's possibly a one to watch throughout the course of the day and into tomorrow. The copper's interesting on the four hourly chart. We just bring this up a little bit closer. You can see that bounce off the 200 MA at around about the S3 pivot level. Uh, and that's moved up really nicely since then. 403.66 looks like an important level and could be up three cents should that level be breached. But the higher probability trade is probably if it breaches 406 to take us up to 409. So there's a couple to watch today. Likely to be a slightly lower volume day until this evening's US session. But I think there'll be plenty of movement going on in light of what's coming out later in the week. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.